For the second time this week, MLRS of the Armed Forces of Ukraine have hit a concentration of occupation troops during military exercises at training grounds. Another piece of good news for Ukraine came from one of the training grounds in the occupied part of Zaporizhia Oblast. A Ukrainian reconnaissance drone has once again detected Russian Armed Forces cadets at one of the training grounds located within the range of the Ukrainian Armed Forces MLRS systems. A missile with a cluster munition attacked a training ground with enemy personnel, Forbes reports. The most interesting thing is that the new strike occurred just a couple of days after the Ukrainian armed forces shelled another group of cadets in the same area. Since February 2024, the Ukrainian armed forces have carried out at least seven such strikes on enemy training grounds. The occupiers gathered at the shooting range in broad daylight. Military experts write that the strike was carried out by an M3031 missile loaded with 400 bombs. The entire time, a Ukrainian reconnaissance drone was in the sky. The source writes that the reconnaissance drone belongs to the fighters of the 15th Artillery Reconnaissance Brigade, Black Forest. They are armed with shark drones. A serviceman of this brigade, Petr, said that the artillery has changed radically only thanks to drones. Before drones came along, artillery and multiple launch rocket systems were used in batteries of 6 to 12 vehicles to simply shell entire areas, Petra said. Now launchers and guns fire one at a time because drones allow for precise fire adjustments. Back in September, the Black Forest Group was in Pokrovsk. They launched shark reconnaissance drones to locate enemy artillery and air defense systems. The brigade is currently located in the southern direction, and it has most likely been merged with the 128th Brigade of the Ukrainian Armed Forces. Shark drones were created by the Kiev company Yukerspec Systems back in 2022. The UAVs are launched using a catapult. The drones have a range of up to 80 kilometers, which allows them to adjust artillery fire using M3031 missiles. A fighter from the 15th Brigade, Constantine, admitted that drones hunt for large prey located at a distance of 30 kilometers and further from the front line. Experts write that the training ground at the Ukrainian armed forces attacked was located only 30 kilometers from the front line. The United Kingdom Counter-Terrorism Policing is investigating Russia's involvement in a fire at a DHL facility in Birmingham caused by a bomb planted inside one of the plane's cargo containers, according to The Guardian. A previously unreported incident at DHL's Birmingham warehouse occurred on the 22nd of July. There were no injuries as a result of a fire caused by an incendiary device in one of the shipments. According to The Guardian, the parcel arrived at the warehouse by air, but it was unclear if it was on a freight or passenger plane or where it was headed. No one has been arrested in connection with the Birmingham fire and the inquiry is still underway. Officers are liaising with other European law enforcement partners to identify whether this may or may not be connected to any other similar type incidents across Europe, the police spokesperson said. The UK authorities fear that the Birmingham incident is part of a larger campaign by Russian agents across Europe. Earlier this week, Thomas Halden Wang, chief of Germany's Internal Intelligence Service, highlighted an instance in which a parcel caught fire in the DHL Logistics Center in Leipzig but the fire did not start on the plane transporting the parcel owing to a coincidence. According to prior media reports, the package containing the incendiary device that caused the fire in Germany was mailed from Lithuania and is currently being probed there. Recall Thomas Haldenwang, the head of Germany's domestic intelligence agency, pointed to a significant increase in Russian espionage and sabotage activities in Germany. At present, Germany is investigating several fires caused by incendiary devices hidden inside parcels at a warehouse in Leipzig earlier this year, the country's prosecutor general said. Thomas Haldenwang told a parliamentary committee that Germany had only narrowly escaped a plane crash when an air freight parcel caught fire. 
The Prosecutor General's office declined to comment on a possible link to Russia, saying that no additional information could be given due to the ongoing nature of the investigation into attempted aggravated arson. German authorities warned businesses in August that dangerous parcels might be in circulation after several incidents in which freight sent by private individuals in a number of European countries caught fire while in transit.